I'd like to open nominations for the office of mayor. Mr. Mayor, it's a great honor for me to nominate uh, Vice Mayor Kevin Mullen for mayor. We Thank you, pleasure. Councilman. Okay, a motion and a second on the floor. We'll go ahead and close the nominations. And um, uh, all those uh, in favor of uh, Kevin Mullen signify with aye. Aye. Uh, aye. And uh, congratulations, Kevin Mullen. Mayor Mullen. Before I administer the oath of office uh, to my son, I'd like to uh, uh, commend him uh, for what he's done up until this point. Uh, Terry and I, of course, are proud of our, of our children and our grandchildren, uh, but tonight we're especially uh, proud of Kevin. And I have to tell one 30-second uh, story. <laughs> I don't get a microphone very much anymore, so. Uh, back in 1984, when uh, Kevin graduated from the eighth grade, uh, the class does prophecies. And this, of course, was before I held elective office, so this was all on his own. And his classmates back 26 years ago uh, prophesied that he would be the mayor of the city of South San Francisco. And here, 26 years later, it's come true. I should have had them do my investments for me. That's another story. <laughs> so I'm going to administer the oath of office. If you'd raise your right hand. Okay. I state your name. I, Kevin Mullen. Do you solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic foreign and domestic, that I, will bear true faith and allegiance that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States, to the Constitution of the United States and, the Constitution of the State of and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely without, any mental reservation, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion and, that I will, and that I will well and faithfully, well and faithfully Discharge the duties, duties upon which I am about to enter. <clears throat> Thanks, Dad. I'm going to take just a few minutes of your time to discuss some priorities for the coming year. But these are really priorities that have already been put into motion by this city, and one that I hope to re-emphasize as your mayor. And conveniently, this agenda falls into the acronym SSF. The first S in SSF stands for sustainability. While other cities talk about the need for environmental stewardship through smart growth land use, South San Francisco is doing it. Our transit-oriented development at BART is a countywide model, and we are readying sites for infill development in our downtown with close proximity to our Caltrain station, along with creating a walkable, bikeable, healthy community. We are rapidly becoming an environmental policy leader in the county. Uh, from our styrofoam ban to strategies uh, that we're developing to reduce plastic bag use uh, to the greening of our vehicle fleet. These are all policies put into place, including renewable energy at our city facilities. Staff is developing our climate action plan and gearing up to implement the new state green building standards code called CalGreen, which too will result in energy savings. We are also aggressively pursuing and recruiting job-creating green tech companies to set up, set up shop in South San Francisco to complement our research and development industries so we may capture the benefits of this new venture capital-driven industry. The second S in SSF stands for social equity. We endeavor to engage citizens from all neighborhoods and socioeconomic groups in the affairs of our city. Our voter participation rates can always be higher. And many folks live here, but are not fully engaged in participating yet in civic life. As a city, we are already addressing this issue, but can do more. Our Citizens Academy, Citizens Emergency Response Team, or CERT, the Community Learning Center, and other programs are fantastic ways to educate the public about our city government and encourage their direct participation through a renewed ethic of citizenship. 
and we are beginning to see the results. The health of our local democracy depends on it. We will better utilize our city website, local cable channels, and even social media tools to reach different segments of our populace. The city is also re-energizing our partnership with our school district, as a community is only as strong as its schools. From workforce preparation to the development of an innovative public-private initiative, we are beginning a new era of cooperation with our schools, one that will benefit the entire community. And I will also be asking my colleagues to officially declare South San Francisco to be a city of service, a national designation that signifies we have a plan to coordinate volunteer activities within our city limits to harness the power of social and human capital in solving our community's challenges. From graffiti abatement to beautifying neighborhoods, building upon the many successful volunteer programs already in motion. To this end, I will be asking the council at our annual retreat in January to consider a review and possible update of our board and commission structure to better reflect the policy priorities of this council, such as potentially creating an environmental policy and public health commission, or perhaps a civic engagement and service committee consisting of citizens from a cross section of our community to get their input and active participation on these important initiatives. And finally, the F in SSF stands for fiscal discipline. As the mayor alluded to, and as you are all painfully aware, the housing bubble, the subprime mortgage crisis, and Wall Street malfeasance precipitated the deepest recession since the Great Depression, with the economic fallout directly affecting local government. Our primary sources of revenue, property taxes, sales taxes, and hotel taxes have all declined. So over the past three years, South San Francisco has trimmed nearly $6 million from its budget. These were difficult but necessary revisions. Unlike the state of California and many other jurisdictions, we have been living within our means. And this city has been able to avoid layoffs while maintaining a solid reserve because of prudent fiscal decisions. We will again be working with our employees who've already stepped up to share the sacrifice to help us continue to conserve taxpayer money. But within the context of maintaining a high level of service that doesn't sacrifice the quality of life that our residents have come to expect. This is not easy and requires a delicate balancing act, but one that is necessary and possible with all parties working for the common good and willing to embrace creative ways of providing services. This city will also be an active player in the countywide conversation about the consolidation of services. And we are unafraid of looking at doing business differently as we enter an era of limited budgets and increasing societal need. These are just a few examples of the daunting work ahead for this city and this council. If we do these things, we will continue to move South San Francisco forward. Nationally renowned leading edge companies call South San Francisco home and we must have an innovative local government to match. And the quality of our managers and services providing staff are a source of pride for this council. But this city can only thrive with the continued involvement and support of you, its citizens. In one of my favorite books entitled Flow, the Hungarian author Mihai Csikszentmihalyi writes, a community should be judged as good not because it is technologically advanced or swimming in material riches. It is good if it offers its citizens a chance to enjoy as many aspects of their lives as possible, while allowing them to develop their potential in the pursuit of ever greater challenges. This is the, this is the community that South San Francisco endeavors to be. Working together, we can make South San Francisco a model community for all of California. Ethnically and economically diverse, thriving, growing, evolving, and innovating. With that, let me say with deep gratitude, thank you for this honor. Thank you all for being here tonight. And we look forward to a very productive year, even in these challenging times. Thank you.